A recent epidemiological study has shown that in Western Europe and in North America, Delta hepatitis uh, was graded as an orphan disease because it's relatively rare. In the 90s and in the early years of the 21st century, several reports appeared that Delta hepatitis in diminish, is diminishing in several countries. But this, especially in Western Europe, has now reached a plateau. It is no more decreasing. And it is in this context that it is important that we are aware of the problems of Delta hepatitis because it is the most severe form of chronic viral hepatitis. Currently, there is only one evidence-based effective treatment of Delta hepatitis, and that is treatment with interferons, whether it's conventional or peglet interferon. And this is a big problem because we need more newer treatments. Interferon has been used in Delta hepatitis for more than 25 years. And since then, there is no other drug which proven efficacy in Delta hepatitis, and that is a pity. Now, it doesn't mean that there are newcomers in the horizon. That will be the case, hopefully, in the very near future. The best way that it does not remain as a forgotten virus is scientific production. It is either through oral and postal presentations at major liver and gastroenterology meetings or through high quality papers in major uh, scientifically respected journals. And in recent years, I have to say, several groups were quite successful in that regard. The key hepatitis D data this year was the reporting of the biggest ever performed study on Delta hepatitis by the use of piglet interferon with or without tenofovir. Unfortunately, the data was not as good as we had expected. Two years of piglet interferon with or without a nucleoside analog, that is to say tenofovir, had a response rate of around 30% and was not better than one year treatment. And in that context, the results were a little bit disappointing. The data is from the HITIT-2 study. The study is important because it is the biggest study ever performed in Delta hepatitis. What the data has shown is, as I said before, two years of treatment, we can say, was no better than one year of treatment with piglet interferon. The disappointment was the high rate of relapse after treatment discontinuation, because we had expected after two years of treatment, which is a long time, that the relapse rate would have actually been decreased, and that was not the case. Next year, we have the 50th International Liver Congress, and I hope at that meeting, we will have the results presented of a new approach to treatment in Delta hepatitis. I can say that this is not a dream, but a real possibility. Thank you. Thank you.